हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम वंस अगेन टू सौरभ सर्स क्लासेस एंड वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग विद ग्रुप थ्योरी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू टू एग्जांपल्स ओके व्हिच आर नेसेसरी फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड जनरल लीनियर ग्रुप्स यू रिमेंबर इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैड वी हैड स्पोकन अबाउट ग्रुप्स जी एल एन ऑफ एफ ऑफ पी या रिमेंबर we spoke about the general linear group and we also spoke about the special linear group over field of primes yeah we spoke about these two groups today we are going to today i'm going to give you an example on these two groups okay let's say for example we need to understand the order of these groups okay for example there is a field f of say over the order of p where p is prime okay let's write all that field is the field of order of order p okay this is the field of order p and uh, of course because p is a prime number the p is prime is prime okay students okay so where p is a prime number that is given given to us that p p is a prime number we must understand from here that uh, the p that you are getting just hold on one sec let me get the pen yeah the p is a prime number p is a prime number okay then then order of the general linear group n of order n of the field over prime numbers is given as what look at this this is given as the order now the order is with p right so let's start with p to the power n minus p to the power 0 then dot say p to the power n minus p to the power 1 dot p to the power n minus p to the power 2 dot 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 p to the power n and of course this will be p to the power n minus 1 you can check by putting values if you put n equal to 1 you will get a zero that's why it is n minus 1 at last so this is the order this is the order of the general linear group n of order n over the field of prime numbers then what will be the order of the special linear group what will be the order of sln fp how can we find actually the order is n but how can we find that means this will be p to the power n minus p to the power 0 i'm writing one please p to the power n minus p okay p to the power n minus p square dot 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 right on till p to the power n minus p to the power n minus 1 whole thing divided by p minus 1 so this will be ordered let me just rub this off and write it in the middle because that's not looking nice okay let's write this in the middle order of the special linear group of order n f p can be found out in this manner okay so this is one part make sure we put this let's put this in a box this is one part and this is the other part okay there are two different parts okay make sure you don't mix them up they are two different parts all right students so uh, this order of the general linear group can be found out this way and the order of the special linear group will be given in this form okay now let us understand a uh, group with um, multiplication modulo 40 and let us understand how we can find the order of that group okay and order of the elements and the inverse element okay so now we need to go ahead and do this let's give you an example let's say example 2 that was example number 1 that would be example number 1 example 1 of course 
okay and this will be example number two so let's go ahead and do example number two example number two is saying let it says let okay I did with a black pen so let G be a set let no sorry let G be a group not set group okay where where G is equal to what is not G is equal to five comma fifteen comma twenty five comma thirty five okay it is a group where G is this is it is a group uh, let G be a group where this is this uh, under not is under multiplication under multiplication modulo 40 under multiplication modulo 40 so let's do this multiplication modulo okay so let's get a shape let's get these lines to make this a bit much better right that's the first one okay and that's the second one let's bring this a little down what's going on let's bring that one a little down in there there you go okay now over here we got to write the multiplication module low that is x of 40 right so the elements are 5 15 25 and 35 similarly here also 5 15 25 and 35 so you see this is a multiplication module of 40 that means any value greater than 40 will have to be subtracted from 40 so 5 5 is 25 okay 15 into 5 is how much 75 so 75 minus 40 is going to give you 35 so similar way if you keep subtracting you'll get all the values so i'm writing the values directly okay so that is 15 here then over here again 35 this is 25 this will be 15 here this will be 5 this will again be 5 this will again be 15 this will be 25 this will be 35 this will again be 15 this will be 5 this will be 35 and this of course is 25 now let us go ahead and part by part find out the different types of properties the first property is the closure you can see all the elements inside here all the elements that are inside this all the elements they belong to G right so first one closure satisfied closure is satisfied okay no need to check closure let's check associativity let's take three numbers and check associativity let's take 5 15 and 25 let's check if it's associative I'm telling you it is okay but anyways let's just check the associativity okay so part two will be associativity associative let a is equal to 5 b is equal to 15 and c is equal to 25 okay now what is the left hand side of my associativity a into b into c so let's do that that is 5 into 15 into 25 so what is my 15 into 25 value 15 into 25 value will give you as give you the answer as 375 but you cannot keep that 375 don't multiply and write it just write 375 minus now you have to minus a number that is very close to that so that will be most probably I'll tell you uh, say 
40 into 6 if I do that's 240 then 40 into 7 if I do that's 280 then 40 into 9 if I do that's 360 right so that's the closest I'm getting 360 so by 360 then I'm getting a 15 so I don't have a problem I got a 15 from these two I got a 15 right so now what I get let's write that properly a cross a into sorry a into b into c is equal to 5 into 15 and 15 fives are 75 and 75 minus 40 gives you 35 so here you're going to get as 35 finally now going on to the rhs okay in the rhs what you're going to get you're going to get a into b and this is into c so this is 5 into 15 first and then into 25 okay so 5 into 15 is 75 75 means 35 and 35 into 25 so what is 35 into 25 35 into 25 is 875 so that is 875 minus 800 that is 75 and 75 is again is equal to 35 so that is your a into b into c so you can see the property here and this here from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 what can we say associativity is satisfied associativity associativity is satisfied all right so uh, once we have satisfied associativity let's go ahead and check what is the identity element now if you go to the uh, table again once again I want to look I want you to look at this diagonal okay the easiest way to find the identity of here is to look at this diagonal I'm cutting it but please don't think that it is cut out these diagonals these values okay this is the identity 25 let me show you let me show you the third point is the identity so let's write that with a different color because that is important okay so let's write that with green third one identity how would you find the identity like Let, let's see let's say 5 into 5 that is 25 right but what about 15 into 15 15 into 15 25 that is 225 right so if you minus 200 you're going to get 25 what about 35 into 35 35 into 35 is 55 25 4 threes are 12 so if you minus 1200 you're going to get 25 so you see every time whenever you multiply you're getting an e here you're getting a e here and you're getting a e here so the identity element automatically becomes 25 all right so the identity element here is 25 what what was the easier way for you to see is to look at the diagonal okay let's move on to the inverse what is the inverse element fifth one wasn't that wasn't that the four, fourth one that's the second that's the third and this is the fourth so it's not the fifth one this is the fourth one okay so let's write four over there green inverse inverse what is the inverse you can see how we are getting the identity here okay every element is its is its own inverse every element is its own inverse why because you see 5 into 5 you're going to get the identity as 25 right so I, if this is the identity and I'm getting the identity then 5 is the inverse INV 5 is the inverse and this is the element so that if 5 is if 5 is the element and its inverse is 5 only then then you can easily say that every element is its own inverse 
isn't it now after this what we need to go ahead and consider is the order of the elements what is the order of the group order of the group is the fifth one order of the group order of the group how many elements are there four so order of the group is four and it's finite right it's not an infinite group that is the order of the group now order of each element sixth one order of each element is two order of each element is two except the identity except the identity order of each element is two because they are getting multiplied with something else except for the identity all right now the order of the identity is what then the order of 25 the order of the identity is one okay the order of the identity is one now we need to what we need to show the, in the next part is the order of the elements the order of the elements in the group can be one or two okay you can take order of the elements i have written uh, order of the element is two but it can also be one or two okay it can be it can also be one it can also be one all right now moving on to the exponent what is the exponent of this group what is the exponent of this group let's assume this let's say a is the identity and if i multiply a inverse okay a, a is the element if i multiply a inverse then i'm getting the identity right but it over here what we are having is a its inverse is equal right a inverse so every element is equal to its inverse its own inverse so that means if i take the element a then every element every element is equal to its own inverse is equal to its own inverse every element has its own inverse so a is equal to a inverse that means a is equal to 1 by a that implies a squared is equal to 1 which implies a squared is equal to e okay where 2 is the exponent of the group exponent of the group of g exponent of g is 2 okay did you understand students today we uh, what we had learned uh, in theory okay we had done we have done in example today right where order of the general linear group and order of the special linear group how to find out we have shown you then i showed you uh, multiplication modulo of 40 and how you can get the identity because over here we don't have one and all okay and then the closure property i satisfied it i told you how is the closure property to check because in the group nothing is beyond the modulo isn't it associated property i did it with numbers clearly i am showing you identity property i showed you how you can find the identity quickly by looking at the diagonal okay and you see how i showed you that the inverse you know from the identity itself you can see how the inverse is coming out every element is its own inverse then the order of the group also we have done over here the order of the group is four there are four elements order of each element is two or one okay doesn't matter anyone you can write except for the order of the identity it's always one okay order of the identity it's always one what is the exponent of the group since every element is its own inverse so a is equal to a inverse then is equal to 1 by a then a square is equal to e then you can see the exponent value value on top a square is equal to e so 2 is the 2 is the exponent of the group g that's it for today's students you keep taking as much help as possible from all these sort of source classes because all the help that you'll be needing will be provided here at source classes thank you for watching students